the meta ads funnel. Let's talk about some of the audiences that fall into each section of the funnel. By no means an exhaustive list, but we're going to go through some of the most important ones and crucial ones that I would set up. And then I'm going to show you how to set them up in Audience Manager on Meta. So top of funnel would be broad. This is basically no targeting. Interests and lookalikes. So those are your top of funnel audiences. Those would all be considered broad audiences. Middle of funnel, you have your website visitors. You have the people who've engaged with your Facebook and Instagram posts, so your Facebook and Instagram page. And then you have people who have viewed your videos or viewed your ads. Now I look at 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. Those are the audiences that I would create for video viewers, is all four of those. And then at the bottom of your funnel, you have your product display page visitors. This could be considered a middle funnel audience. You can kind of put it in either section, in my opinion. I think if someone views your product display page, they have more likelihood to purchase that specific product than someone who is just a general website visitor. But you have your add to cart, so people who added a specific product to the cart, maybe it's any product on your website to the cart and didn't purchase, and then initiate checkouts as well. So initiate checkout is the step beyond the add to cart. Now all of these, no matter what, unless you are doing a campaign that's specific to increasing retention, increasing lifetime value, and targeting people who have already purchased, all of these you are going to exclude purchasers when you set up the campaigns with these audiences associated. Now the first part of this video series is me going to be me showing you how to set up these audiences and then implementing them in the back end into certain campaigns. So let's get into it. All right, we're in meta ads. Left side of your screen in Ads Manager, you'll be able to see audiences. You're going to click that, and let's get started. So let's start with lookalikes. So lookalikes, in terms of a source, you'd select your pixel, and then select an event with value. So we're going to create a lookalike based on purchasers. So what that means is Meta is going to populate this audience with individuals who have not purchased from our company, but are similar to people who have purchased from our company. So that's what a lookalike is. In terms of audience location, wherever you're advertising, that's where I would do. So United States in this instance. And I would create one for 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, and 5%. So those are all individual audiences. So I would have one the 1% and I would create, click create audience. And then I would name it 1% of US lookalike or lookalike 1%. Something very, very similar like LAL 1%. Easy enough. So that's how you create a lookalike. So now let's jump into the, some of the more of the middle of funnel audiences. Let's start with website visitors. So you click website. You do all website visitors. And for the audience retention period, I would create an audience for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180 days. You can go up to 365. You can go down to 14 days, 7 days, whatever you want to do. But I would at least create 30, 60, 90, 180. And then you'd name it website visitors 30 days. So make sure your naming convention is consistent across audiences. Cool. So let's talk about Instagram and Facebook engagers. I'm only going to do one for the sake of this video, but if you wanted to create an Instagram audience, you'd click Instagram account, Facebook, you'd click Facebook page. So let's do Instagram for the sake of this video. So let's create an Instagram engagers audience. So you can do everyone who engaged with this professional account. So that's just engagers. Audience retention period, you can really do whatever you want here. I'd recommend probably doing 180 days and then naming it IG Engagers, 180 days. And then you can do the same thing for Facebook Engagers as well. Instead of creating, clicking Instagram account, you'd click Facebook page and create the audiences that way. And then video viewers is another middle of funnel audience. So you do video. An engagement type would be people who have viewed at least 25% of your video, and then I'd come back in and create one for 50%, 75%, and 95%, and name those audiences accordingly. But for 25%, and then we'd select the particular videos that we want that person to have engaged with or to have watched. So you'd click select videos and select those. You can see my videos have zero views, so we're getting dialed in. And then go down to audience retention period. You can do the same thing here. You can do whatever date or whatever length you want. 180 days, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, I would create multiple. And then name it video viewers 25% and then the days. So let's just say 365 days. You can customize this to what you want. Last but not least, let's talk about those bottom of funnel audiences. 
for sources, we go to website again, but we would change this from all website visitors to down here to from your events. So this is associated with the pixel. So this is tracking your all your conversion focused events. So we create add to cart audiences. 30 days is fine. You could customize this, like I said, to whatever you want. So let's say ATC, 30 days. Simple enough. And then you go through and do it for 60, 90, 180, whatever. Same thing here, website visitors, we'll do initiate checkouts. So I see 30 days, create one for all the other retention periods that you want as well. And then for purchasers, I would create a purchase audience so that we can exclude this custom audience when actually setting up the campaigns. So I would always do an 180 day purchase audience and then just name it purchasers 180 days or purchase 180 days, whatever you want to name it. But that's a very quick look into how to set up these audiences in Meta. Hope this helps you. I'm going to show you a demo of how to associate these audiences with campaigns when they get set up now.